uh, I will be showing Amplitude running on the Shield TV, side loaded, of course, um, as well as um, this is Amplitude UA, uh, as well as um, it you, showing you how to record it with your guitar and everything. Okay, so one thing you're gonna need, of course, is this uh, this piece of crap right here that the uh, uh, this is the Amplitude UA thing, which is plugged in through the USB, the micro USB in the back, or you can plug it into any of the USB with a um, with a supported cable, any kind of cable that you're going to use, USB to micro USB. Um, if you get that, I would really recommend, if you don't already have it, I would recommend that you do not pay that much for it. It's not supported anymore. IK fucking decided that it was a good idea to just drop it willy-nilly as soon as it came out. And that pisses me off. But the app does sound good. Uh, the only thing is if, you know, if Android updates and it breaks the app, you're screwed. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, IK. Thanks you for that. All right, anyways. Uh, so... If you can get that really cheap, or even free, fucking swipe it from the fucking store. I don't give a shit. God damn it. Bastards. Anyway, so if you get that, you plug it into the micro USB. Uh, you sideload the application however you do so. Um, take it from your phone. It's Amplitude U... Uh, is the, the app is Amplitude UA, yeah. Uh, and the, the uh, interface is iRig UA. Okay, so... Now, I can, I have all my stuff set up, I have the, uh, you know, it's everything, I mean, I got it running into an amp, so I turn on my shield controller, odd thing I found out is if the shield controller shuts off, the, uh, the effects don't work anymore, and then you have to turn the shield controller back on to get the effects back, so make sure your, your controller stays on, I don't know why that works, that happens, also happens with the uh, Android TV remote app, but, I'm going to launch it, not even bother with side load launcher. Just hit the shield button. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna try that again. I'm I showed you what I'm gonna do, so that that's it. And use a voice command. Launch iRig UA. And there it is. So we've launched it. I have my own preset. Now because um of the new updates with uh, the Shield TV, you can actually control you can use a mouse with, uh, with this if you want to, or you can plug in a regular mouse. But if you don't feel like plugging in a mouse, you can set up all your stuff. You have all this um, things here. You have your settings, uh, levels um, that are hidden in here. Um, your account. I logged into my account. So that worked. Um, of course, this is a phone UI. They, they promised they were going to update and then of course they never did and then they basically went all fucking iOS fanboy and started oh iOS is so much better uh, uh, uh. they they made uh this is their attempt that they made to to uh to actually support this thing uh, it doesn't work uh, all right forget it i'm going to bed so basically yeah they did that and they said it was too hard to actually support and then they just said fuck off to everybody and started talking about how much better iOS was, was than Android and all this other shit on their YouTube channel. So basically they have an iPad shoved up their ass. Anyways, got, got it up and running. I don't need my pick. I'm going to turn on my, my uh, amplifier. Have my levels set and everything. And uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I don't have my levels set too well. What's going on there? Oh, well, the cord is partially out. Okay, could be louder. talking about the putting on the metronome, turning it off, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I was going to record something, very bullshit kind of whatever. 
Uh, I wasn't. I don't really have anything specifically that I care to record. I'm just going to record anything. So we hit record, and um, yeah, there we go. It says auto save project and. So whatever, the fuck just show that it actually works. Um, so there you go. We recorded that. Uh, didn't need anything except to uh, just have the speaker thing or amp here uh, playing that stuff. Let me get, let me stop the recording. And uh, yeah, so you know, then we can go over here and hit split. You know, and split on the the noise here. I'll do a better job. <laughs> And get more noise out but whatever and then like I can go over to where to edit I think and just drag it back like that and then uh, then I can basically go ahead down here and I think it's this one yeah I select that and uh, oh wait no actually I'm wrong long hold the, the the waveform and then I could basically normalize the audio so that it's not so low and then you play back. Whatever. And then you can do things like add drums. There's in-app purchases in this, but uh, it's fairly cheap because compared to like the other, like I'd say a desktop DAW, it would be really expensive. But this has a lot of those kind of features, and you can uh, yeah play it for. You can use it for fairly cheap. Uh, I have a rock drum kit, I can add drums or whatever. None of this is actually going to actually match up, I'm just, you know, demoing the shit. Uh, so like, you know, oh, snare drum, closed hi-hat, whatever, you know, oops, uh, you can also like say you wanted uh, all you want it all bass drum, so blah, 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 like that. And then, uh, you know, I want all snares. It'd be like this wild blast beat, you know. And then we want all hi hats. I don't know. It's kind of stupid, but oops. Um, and then if you want to get rid of this, you can do the same thing, like that. Okay, so then it would be some stupid shit like this. Let's see. Let me go back to the. Um, I'll uh, go back to the project by hitting, I think, next, yeah. And then, of course, you'd be like, oh, boy. And, of course, that mix sounds like dog shit, but whatever. Um, <laughs> that's not, this is nothing serious here, and, um, yeah, so. You can put effects on the, on the kit there as well. Uh, I think I'm actually running an outdated version of this doll. I believe they said something about they, they have a drum, like a drum kit or something, or something like that. There's some kind of, kind of better visualization or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But you can go up to the drum track, and you actually use a controller for this menu here. So you can throw auto-tune on it. <laughs> it's actually in that, in that purchase. I bought it because I thought it would be funny to make some YouTube videos with it. I never did that. <laughs> Maybe eventually I'll get to that, but, you know. Um, so, let's see here. Stereo widener. Let's say we want the, you know, the stereo widener. In fact, they just added this. So. La, la, la. And my coffee's turning on. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's showing you, you can, like, record... Um, music and stuff, and actually do it seriously too. Um, on here, you can just go ahead and like lay it, lay a. Uh, I think if you hit record, it just records a new track. So uh, you know, you record a uh, crappy solo or something like. Let's see, did I hit? Re it didn't record. Hit record. God damn it! It is advised to turn the latency first. Um, I don't give a shit. Um, I don't mind losing my current project. Cancel. Can I just... Yeah. I don't have to worry about the latency issue because of what I'm using. 
but apparently I have uh, lost my effect. No, I haven't. I just need to... Uh... Whatever the fuck, and then, you know, <laughs> apparently it doesn't play back. I don't know. So, we'll just go here and then hit like split or something and then doesn't matter and uh, just hit remove and go to and edit and then pull it back like that and then woohoo yay split again I think you could also drag it or something and boom and then remove like that and then have this crappy sounding solo I came here <laughs> But yeah, that's the most atrocious recording you'll ever hear in your life. It makes absolutely no fucking sense, but I'm just really just showing you that you can do stuff. So I could give two fucks about uh, what this actually sounds like. Um, but yeah, so there's the the um, the ability to record your music. Uh, I think I'm gonna do another video showing um, doing it without the amplitude UA, like using external effects. Um, if I can get that set up, I haven't tried it yet, with like the Scarlet uh, 2 and 2, two uh, whatever the fuck that's called, uh, interface. It's for, I use that for PC. Um, I think it's 2 it 2 2 and 2, whatever. Um, but I use that for PC, but I'm going to try hooking it up to the Shield TV and see if I can get some external effects uh, to be recorded in Audio Evolution Mobile. Oh, uh, one thing, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you are using, when you when it asks you if uh, you want to use the extreme uh, USB driver, which is theirs, or the Android driver, use the Android driver. The extreme one doesn't work on this. It freaks out and starts acting up, and the Android driver works just fine with this, so use the Android one. So there you go, congratulations. Um, also, there's that, that latency correction thing that you saw. Um, you may be asked to use that. If you are using the iRig UA, you probably won't have a problem with any latency issues. You more than likely won't have any latency issues. I think that's more... Oh, my guitar strap just snapped in half. Okay, I guess I need a new guitar strap. Here, look. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so just uh, make sure that you, uh, what was I saying, something about latency, oh yeah, uh, if you're plugging in with that, I don't know about, there shouldn't be an issue with latency with any, any USB um, things, interfaces, if you hook them up just right, uh, I'm going to try to figure that out, and then also something like I don't even know if you could, no, I don't think you can because the Shield TV doesn't have a audio input uh, for, like, an iRig 2. But, uh, if you were going to use that on, like, a phone or something, there would be latency issues and you would need to uh, use the latency correction shit, whatever. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see about getting other ways of recording going on here. Have a good day.